I think if we look at Hong Kong residential property prices, I think there's further risk to the downside. Uh, already property prices are down about seven, maybe eight percent. Our models, which we have been using now for many, many, many years, suggest that the downside risk from the high of June of last year uh, to the end of this year is something down around 15 percent, 16 percent, something like that. Now, of course, uh, that model uh, will be affected by how the economy performs going forward over the next couple of months. But that's our base case. So down from June of last year uh, to end of 2020 by about 15% uh, uh, or so in total. So we're halfway there right now. Now when you ask the question of should I be buying property, uh, I always, for residential property, I always say it depends to a large extent if you're buying for investment purposes or if you're buying for home use, your own use. Uh, for example, if I'm buying for investment purposes right now, I'm still quite cautious uh, because I think uh, that there is still some downside risk. Um, I think there is, uh, uh, if I'm buying I, uh, for investment, I, I'm looking to see property prices go up over time and I'm also, I'm also looking to see a good rental. At the moment, I see short-term risk to those, uh, both the price and the rental. Now, if I'm looking to buy for my own use as a family, I'm looking at different criteria. I'm looking at affordability. For example, today, if I buy an apartment in Hong Kong, the chances are that my monthly mortgage repayment will be less than the rent that I would otherwise pay. So in actual fact, I'm saving money by paying off a mortgage uh, rather than paying rent to a landlord. Uh, also, I look to the very long term, if I'm a buying uh, as a homeowner, I'm looking to build up my capital, my equity uh, that I will hold for the very long term. And if we look at that in Hong Kong over the last, well, 40 to 50 years, average property prices have compound, have grown up on a compound basis by eight and a half percent over more than 40 years. Inflation has grown by around 5% per annum. So in actual fact, you've massively enhanced your wealth by owning a property over that last 40 years or so. So that's what I look at as I, if I'm a, a home owner, if I'm looking to buy a home for my own use. It's cheaper now from a cash flow point of view to pay a mortgage than to pay rent. And if I look over the next 10 or 20 years, I'm building up my wealth by owning a piece of property. I firmly believe that that'll be the case.